What's going on YouTube? It's Ben and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about two different methods that you can use to obtain recruiting agency clients for your recruiting agency. All right, so you've opened up a recruiting agency. You've got a business email, a website, a logo, an LLC. You've got pretty much everything you need to get started, but one thing, clients. So method number one. Now keep in mind, this is a very traditional method. It's been used for ages. It still is used, of course, regularly by recruiters, recruiting agencies, solopreneurs, big corporate agencies, all that kind of stuff. And it's very much simplistic, meaning it's a straight line from you to the client. And essentially it works like this. You basically scour the internet and use things like LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, um, other forms of you know search and basically find and seek out clients in order to get them on a phone or over an email conversation with you so that you can essentially present them an offer. So this method is basically called sales. Yes, it's simple as calling it sales. So you're selling your services at this point to a client. The way you do that is by presenting an offer. Now your offer needs to be really compelling. So you need to have some element of maybe a really good guarantee, maybe a really good rate, maybe you're charging them 10 or 15% for direct hire. Um, maybe you have some really good customer service industry knowledge, you know, maybe you're an expert at what you hire for, maybe you've worked with some of their competitors and you know the industry inside and out, but something really compelling has to come from this when you approach a client directly to get their business so that you can actually staff for them. Keep in mind that in this method, you are obtaining a client by actually selling them on your services, getting them to sign an official staffing agreement with you, meaning that it's contingent upon hiring someone and they will pay you after you find them a candidate. So you are signing an official agreement when you go about it doing this method. So let me just go over some of the benefits of using the sales method to find clients for your recruiting agencies. So one of the benefits of having the sales method to find clients is that it's very, very simple. So it's extremely straightforward. You basically go from A to B. You find a client that you really want to approach. You come up with a good offer. You give it to them. They either love it or they hate it. And if they love it, they sign off on an agreement with you. You're off to the races. You go find candidates and resumes for them. You bring them back the resumes and then you go into negotiation and find the best candidates. They pick a candidate, hire them, and you get paid. Everything is pretty much done. There's another little tiny benefit to the sales method in recruiting agency clients, and that is smashing that like button. If you have not done that already, I would truly appreciate that, guys. It just ranks up the YouTube algorithm, so honestly, it's just a desperate plea for you to, to smash the like button. All right, so on to method number two. So I mentioned there was a different method that you could find agency clients for and this is basically one where you kind of put the cart in front of the horse you basically do everything that i just mentioned but you sort of do it in opposite order and i'm going to go over that right now okay so the second method i want to talk about is basically called pro marketing or as industry insiders might use the acronym mpc which means most placeable candidate so Basically, in, in case you haven't gotten the idea yet, what this really means is that you find the candidate before you find the client, and you essentially try to entice the client to work with you by presenting them with a really hot candidate. So basically in practice, what you literally do is you go on LinkedIn Sales Navigator or you go on Indeed Resume Finder and you basically search out candidates for either a job that you've seen posted or dare I say even a job that doesn't exist. And you essentially approach candidates at random and give them sort of a pitch that either exists or doesn't and you really try to basically sway them whether they're active or passive or neutral, and you sort of try to get them on your side, sort of ask them if they're interested in a new position, kind of gauge their interest, and of course you're looking for really, really good candidates because at the end of the day you want to entice these really, really good clients so that they're salivating over the people that you're sending them because otherwise they're not really gonna care. So you have to find really, really good candidates. Now, keep in mind, this requires hours, if not 
weeks of a couple uh, searches and a lot of work to find good candidates when you're doing uh, the MPC candidate before client method. Now, a lot of people implement this method because for whatever reason, they're afraid to actually approach a client unless they have a candidate in hand. And I personally highly disagree with this and I really don't know why you would need to have a candidate in hand when you approach a client. I don't think it's necessary at all, but some people do. And so they are willing to spend hours and hours working uh, without a signed agreement, finding a candidate before they would find uh, the actual client and get an agreement signed. But I'm not gonna be all negative Nancy about the entire thing. There are some pros to using NPC marketing and finding candidates before clients, and so I'll go over those right now. One thing is that you're not showing up empty-handed to a hiring manager. So when you do approach a hiring manager at a certain company, you are bringing along with you a resume or a summary of a candidate that you think that they'll be highly interested in. So you're not just approaching them with an offer, but you're actually approaching them with a step further, which is actually a candidate that they might like. And so that's something to be said for because you're actually kind of moving the process along, giving them something to think about, actually giving them someone to look at, and it's a little bit attractive to bring someone to the table before you start actually talking. So there's something to be said for that. So I said before that this is not my favorite go-to method of finding clients for my recruiting agency and I will tell you exactly why. So finding candidates for jobs is great and all, but finding candidates that aren't right for the job is not good. And you can only do so much when you read a job description, but you can do a whole world's different if you actually talk to a hiring manager, sign an agreement, and find out what exactly they need. So a job description only lists out a few bullet items and tells you kind of a vague description of what they actually need. However, the hiring manager is gonna have certain pain points, very specific ideas, things that they'll tell you verbally over the phone that they will not put in a job description. And you really need that information to search for the absolute 100% right fit for that job. Ultimately, you're kind of guessing. So when you present that person, they might be like 70% of what they want, but not 100% of what they want. And had you had a conversation with the hiring manager, that person might have been 100% had you found them after you actually got on the phone with them, signed an agreement, figured out exactly what they want, and you could actually nail it. Probably my biggest issue with this is that nothing is guaranteed whatsoever. So there's no signed agreement between you and any given client that you present this candidate to. So in staffing, contracts are everything. I mean, contracts mean literally you getting paid or not. And so I don't like to work for free and I don't think you like to work for free either, but that's exactly what you're doing when you're sourcing out for MPC candidates that you really don't know if they're gonna work out or not. And so if you present someone and they don't work out, it just means you might've wasted an entire week or at least eight or 16 hours finding candidates that aren't gonna fit out for the job and that's just wasted time and I don't like to waste time because time's money. The third thing that bugs me about finding candidates before clients is that it's basically a really complicated scenario. So not to go too into the weeds about it, but essentially, since you have no signed agreement, you have to send them over a redacted PDF where you block out their name, their titles, their companies they work at, all sorts of details that might reveal who they are just in case the client wants to steal them, um, or you comprise a summary with some bullet points some details and information about that particular candidate and then present that to the client. And even that just seems a little bit weak and it's not the best way of presenting a candidate. The best way of presenting a candidate is to have a signed agreement and send them over a full-blown resume, a full-blown LinkedIn with a summary, giving them the full money, everything that they need to make their decision after you know exactly what they want so that you've been sending them exactly what they want. But with MPC marketing, you really, really have to kind of tread these fine lines and do these extra things like redact names and all that kind of stuff. And that's just extra work for me that I don't really want to do.
So in summary, if you're a total beginner, if you're just absolutely new to recruiting or you're you know in recruiting but you're just getting your feet wet, I would highly recommend that you find your clients first before you find your candidates. It's just that much simpler, it's just that much easier. I think you're gonna learn a lot more by doing that and you're not ready to negotiate when a, can a client tells you, oh wow, I, I really like that person, I wanna talk to them. Well, right then and there, you have to sign an agreement. You have to say, hey, I've got an agreement, let's sign it, and it's gonna be X amount percent, all that stuff. It's really, really complicated. I would just not mess with that if you're a beginner. If you are you know, advanced and you know how to do these sort of things, by all means, but if you're simply beginning, and a lot of people in Six Figure Recruiters, the Facebook group, link in description, join, um, a lot of people are beginners. So for that reason alone, I would definitely find your clients before you find your candidates so that you make it that much easier on yourself. All right guys, so if you like that content and you enjoyed what I had to say, I talk about other things than recruiting. I talk about investing, business, entrepreneurship, everything in between. And so if you like that kind of stuff, if that's your style, definitely smash the subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. And that's all I've got for today, guys. I will definitely be catching you on Saturday. Take care.